Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys just get on with the time, yeah. do what you need to do. So insane. Yeah, we'll see. So? Yeah, Nora just texted me. Oh, and she wants me to get her a cookie. And I bet she wants a coffee as well, wouldn't she? Yeah, probably. What do you think about this for a new hey, development? she's gonna be here in 15, so we really right. like to pick up the pace. Yeah, come on, you're not so sweet this morning. No, that's not true. Your tone's saying otherwise, babe, but I'm enjoying my struggle. Well, how nice for you. I would just like to get there. Okay, darling. I know that you're stressed out, so I've been extra nice this morning, but, you know, you don't have to see her. She's almost here. Let me finish. I was saying that I think you should see her. I think you should tell her how you feel because she's an old friend she's of yours. She's my oldest friend. But she's immature. She's out of touch. And I yeah. know that she I works mean, hard. I could have done some things I friendly. said that I know that she works hard, but you're always making excuses for people. And yeah, you could have come to her sooner and you could have said something and you could have... What was I even saying? You said I should stop making excuses for people. Whatever. You just tell her how you feel, all right? Yeah. I mean, we don't have a ton of time. She's meeting her mom for lunch in an hour. In an hour from now, for lunch. Oh my god. I, no, that seems like a perfectly normal time to have lunch. That's when I would have lunch. Who cares what time she's having lunch? I don't care what time she's having lunch. She cares what time she's having lunch. You know why? Because she was out late last night, riding some dude's cock. Oh my god. Baby, you're stressing me out. Oh yeah, I'm stressing you out. Ugh. I'm just annoyed. She doesn't have a ton of time for me. Oh no, baby, you're stressed out. You need some kisses. No. <laughs> You're so weird. I'm not weird. I'm actually pretty normal. How's your matcha? I think I hate it. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I hate it. Uh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have told you to get it. No, it's all right. It's all right. You make mistakes. Yeah. Yeah, lots of mistakes. This being your worst mm -hmm. one, yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna let Nora know we're here. It's all right, I'm just gonna keep crying about this. Yeah. <laughs> well noted for the future. Alex, no matches. No matches. Ever. Yes, ever. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> I had to. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> weirdo. How are you doing, Nora? Hey. Oh, with the two cheeks. It's new. Stop it, you love it. What are you joining us? No, I've got to go home, work to do. Sorry, on a Sunday. Yes, baby. Corporate real estate never sleeps. Mm, gross. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. So, how long are you in town for? Um, I leave Thursday. On Thursday? Yeah, quick. OK. Well, we'll have to get together before you go. Yeah, yeah. No, I have to come and see your new house. All right, so yeah. you already set it up? Yeah. Perfect. OK, baby. See ya. You two get on with it. Yes, thanks for letting me steal her. No problem, but have her back at a reasonable hour. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why are you so fancy? Can you walk what? in those? Are we doing heavy lifting? No, we're just walking in the park. Right. Which way? This way. OK. Here's your cookie you demanded. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> I'll demo you. OK. Oh, my gosh. Yo, you and Alex are good. Yeah. Because you gain a little weight? What? <laughs> I'm kidding. He's, it's annoying how fit he stays. Mm. Do you want a bite? No, I'm good. We've been doing keto. What? Since when? I don't know, like a month. Why? We're just trying to be more conscious about what we put in our bodies. All right. More for me. Yeah. This is the park. Yeah, it's really cute. Oh. Alex and I do this walk every day. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. I love seeing, like, the same people from the neighborhood. Oh. There's, um, an older woman, and she'll run these for hours with weights. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like she's training for an Olympic marathon. I mean, it's, you know, it's sweet, it's endearing, but it's also... A little weird. <laughs> yeah, no. I wonder what happened to her in her life that caused her to do that. Do what? Run these stairs with weights for <laughs> hours. Never. I don't know, cardiovascular health, trying to better herself. That's, that's funny. I would never. <sighs> wow. Did you see the garden right there? Yeah, 
That's so really nice. cute. God, LA is so funny. Like an area that no one wanted to live in before. It's now this real estate hotspot. Yeah. I mean, as a valley girl, I find this very exotic. Uh, oh. But I love living here. Yeah, I bet. I don't know. I've kind of been like, I know I've been gone for a while, but coming back, I don't, I don't know if I could live here forever. Like, I, I love that I can go to these places for work and no one, no one knows me. It's yeah. nice to start fresh. Like, LA just gets a little too, too small. Like, God forbid I run into that neighbor that I puked on at the smell, just that. Oh yeah, the smell. Oh, pizza was all over her. Pizza Lunchables. Uh, that dance party was amazing, though. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Here, let's cross here. I want to go by the tennis courts. Okay. Alex and I keep meaning to play, but I know we won't. So you leave on Thursday? Yep, back to Greece. Nice. Want to come with me? <laughs> I mean it. Like, you would really love it there. Like, where I'm living, you can walk everywhere. Yeah, I wish. When's the last time you got out of town? Alex and I went to Big Sur a couple months ago. Out of the country? We would like to, it's just, he's doing so well at work right now, it's hard for us to find the time. Yeah, yeah. But maybe you could take some time. Like, when's, I mean, we haven't gone anywhere together in a really long time. Yeah, that's true. I've asked you so many times, Sarah. Look, I would love to, just don't have the time right now. But okay. send me pics, you obviously love it there. I do, I like who I'm working with. Yeah. yeah. What? Together. Hi, Isaac. Isaac? How you doing? Oh my god. It's so nice to see you. Hi. Yeah. Jeez, can I touch you? Oh gosh. Oh my god. You haven't changed. No. <laughs> so gorgeous as ever. Long time no see. Thanks. I know. Wait, it's been so freaking long. This is crazy. Nora, we just saw each other at Keanu's party. Keanu. Reeves. Oh. That Keanu. Mm -hmm. What? I work for a PR company that manages him, and, and we became good friends. I actually introduced Sarah. That's right. Mm -hmm. They go horseback riding together in Santa Clarita. Stop! <laughs> Wait, what were you doing there? Oh, I just invested in an independent film, lead, friends with Keanu, and they invited me as their date to the party. Oh. Did, did something change with work? Since... No, I just helped with the finishing funds. I still have my job at the firm. Cool. I mean, if you got money, make more money. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Rich words. Okay. It really wasn't a big No, 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 deal. I was just confused. I want to get back to this. Is it locally grown or what's up? Because you look awesome. Thank you. I, I lost most of the baby fat, but uh, the real talk, working around actors, you feel fat. <laughs> yeah. So here I am, plus I do keto. Great. Um, you, uh, Sarah does keto too. I know, we talked about it at the party. That's right. Mm, yeah, if you're on it, you're going to let us know. Yes, I feel disgusted with myself. Oh no, stop. That's not that's not what I meant. It's a pretty picture on you both. Um, I'm so sorry. That. Do you need if you need to go, oh. you, please go. Um, I do, and this was great, but maybe Yes! Oh my gosh, yeah. Um yeah, I mean I, I leave on Thursday, but we could probably hang out early. You can come too. Gee, thanks. You yes, you totally <laughs> can. Yeah. So random running into you. I know. Well, okay. I was actually telling Sarah that I would hate to run into someone, but you are an exception. Well, I am so flattered. Just hit me up. Yeah. yeah? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Good seeing bye. You. All right. Bye. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. You did the dirty with that. <laughs> like you should tell everyone he looked like that in college. We did not do the dirty. Yes, you did. Oh no! Wait. He went downtown. Oh my God. I remember this, because you're like, that's, he, you came. He uh, made you come. Yeah, thank you. I would this rather so forget great. about it. Graphic <gasps> no, image. No, you wouldn't. That's so good. Uh, you know, he, he's gay. 
stop. No, he's not. Yeah, I met his partner, Antonio, at the party. Wh what? Yeah. So it's Isaac? No, he's not. Isaac? No. Yeah. I don't know. I was mortified when I found out. Oh, stop. It's not <sighs> like he was gay in college. And, like, gay dudes go down on chicks all the time. And, like, so many people are bi these days, like... Do you think he's bi? No. No. <gasps> Isaac? This just made my year. <laughs> oh, my god. Oh, I finished the ethical slut on the plane. Oh, that's great, right? Yeah, God, I should have read it sooner. But yeah. So the woman next to me, she told me that her friend saw it on Amy Puller's nightstand. Oh, nice. Yeah. She has good taste. Yeah. You should uh, check out Esther Perel's podcast next. I don't know her. She's amazing. I mean, she's a relationship therapist, sex therapist. Ooh. She has these sessions with clients who are dealing with like kind of weird, odd circumstances. Wait, but she reports them? Yeah, it's all private though. We don't know oh, their names. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Um, but Esther feels like as long as you're open and honest, you can come back from anything and build something new. Damn. Yeah. Can you send that to me? Yeah, definitely, I think you'll like it. Yeah, sounds like it. Um, it's definitely helped me with the judgments I've let build up about my dad. You dad? Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It is a big deal, but I found out my dad was having an affair, and neither Wait, of my parents want to get a divorce. Wait, Stephen was having an affair? When? I mean, for a while, I guess, but I found out in May. Wait, why didn't you tell me? That's so upsetting, Sarah. Oh, you're upset I didn't tell you, or you're upset my dad was having an affair? Um, both? I mean, it's just not something you want to tell someone over the phone. No, uh, no, I, I disagree. Like, you're my best friend. Like, I would want you to know if something- Yeah, I just, I didn't. Okay. How are you feeling about it? Are you okay? I mean, not great, to be honest. Sarah, I could have fucking flown back. It didn't, it didn't seem like it would help. Steven. Apparently it happens all the time. But, look, it's fine. I started seeing a therapist, she's really great. That's great. Yeah. She's helping me with how I navigate trust issues in close relationships. That's pretty fucking deep and awesome. Yeah. I think maybe I had been feeling just like a little surprised by your actions and my dad's. You're not in the same boat, but I mean, both situations involved a cheating husband. You were that other woman, like, I didn't know how to talk to you about my dad. But I want to know now. I want to know how you're feeling. My therapist said that you can offer a helpful perspective into the situation. I'm glad your therapist deems my perspective helpful. Hey, no, no, no. I'm really sorry. This is not coming no, I'm out. I'm sorry. I want to know now, after everything that's happened, how you're feeling. I don't know if I want to talk to you about it. Why? You would tell me before when you were seeing him. Yeah, and I didn't really enjoy those conversations either when we talked. Like, to be honest, you never saw it from my perspective, so. I would listen for hours as you went on about this married dude. I offered my opinions and advice. You never took them. I mean, I tried. What are you, are you mad about something? Nora, stop. Why are you mad at me? I, I can't deal with family shit and also hold your hand while you're doing something that's so blatantly you are wrong. So fucking judgmental, Sarah. Can you please lower your voice? No. Did you hear what just came out of your mouth? Yeah, like I'm gonna tell you how I'm feeling. God, how about you just go tell your fucking therapist that I'm still seeing him? Well, why don't you catch me up on that then, huh? Is he divorced and you're still seeing him or what? Fill me wow, in on the details. This is just unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry, have you just always felt this way about me? 
because, like, I just don't understand why you care so much about what I fucking do with my Because I care about you. You haven't asked me about me in a really long time, and clearly I don't know what's going on in your life. How do you not understand why I couldn't tell you about my dad? It's not about your dad, Sarah. I have zero idea what is going on in your life. Yeah, because there's this massive thing between us because of what you guys did. No, your dad blew up your life. You started acting different with me when you started dating Alex. Since Alex? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? That's not true. It is. You're less adventurous, you're settling, you're more superficial and selfish, you have zero time for your friends, and you know what? You don't think that anything is wrong with you. It's all about us. Why do you think I'm in fucking therapy, huh? <sighs> and what about you, Nora? If it wasn't this married dude, then it'd be some other failed relationship because you have poor self-esteem. Fuck you, Sarah. Oh, fuck me, really? I've done nothing but try with you. I'm not gonna keep doing that with someone who doesn't respect themselves. <laughs> fuck you! Laura, come on. I, th I think we should take some time. I'm sorry, I, I just, I can't, I can't get your voice out of my head and I can't make a good choice or a bad choice without worrying about if you're gonna judge me or not. I just, I need some space. I think a lot of what you said is right. But I think a lot of what I said is right, too. So, I don't know. I don't know where that leaves us. Hmm. I, uh, I'm gonna go meet my mom. Okay, yeah, totally. When do you think you'll be back in town? Do you think you might be here for New Year's or? I don't know. Okay.